Okay, so I'm doing retainer reviews today and uh, young Jack has come in. Uh, I treated him when he was uh, seven and a half, nearly eight, for his class three underbite. You see, very nice overbite. Canines had no room, but they've come in. Have a look where he started. He had a severe um, anterior crossbite and it wasn't postural. So it's not as though he was hitting and sliding his jaw forward. His maxilla was uh, deficient. Now, if we look at the original OPG radiograph, those teeth had no space, not even the laterals, let alone the canines. And in the old days of orthodontics, you'd wait until all those baby teeth fell out and then you probably have to extract uh, four teeth to make room, which wouldn't really fix the jaw problem. What we now do, if you look at the, the phase one treatment, we limited our treatment to the upper arch, or we used a thing called a bonded hyrax uh, and a reversible face mask, very much what uh, Jim McNamara has written about in early correction of class three jaws. Can you see how then by widening, we made room for the canine. The canines have erupted really nicely into a good bite. But had we not achieved a positive overbite overjet at an early age, uh, the fate may have been orthognathic surgery on the lower jaw, extraction of teeth and dental camouflage. None of those are the ideal treatment. And I think, uh, you know, if you want to do the best for young kids who have skeletal cross bites, with maxillary deficiency, the goal is to get in early. And the plan is number one, expand the maxilla. Number two, protract it. You remember that face mask you used to wear, right? Um, and you did a good job wearing that. So if I have a cooperative child, um, we're gonna get an ideal outcome. But the face mask I like to use, if we have um, any form of vertical growth of the jaw is a face mask that doesn't have a chin cup because the chin cup in a long face will cause the mandible to rotate back and increase lower face height. Whereas in a, smile again, whereas in a short face height like this, um, then it's quite okay to use McNamara's design, which is the petite face mask. Uh, so if you look at all the issues, airway, development, timing of treatment, definitely there's an indication for phase one in class three mid-face deficient patients, what we know as skeletal 3A. So there's the clinical tip for today.